That's a band called Courtyard Hounds. They're a temporary band consisting of two Dixie Chicks and a son of Bob Dylan. That's uh, Emily Robinson, uh, Martin McGuire from the Dixie Chicks, and Jacob Dylan. That's a song called See You in Spring. I like that. And before that was a demo from a young lady from Oma called Kate McCusker, and uh, she's great. And that's called The Way, and that's an unmastered demo. That's in its raw state. Uh, here's a gentleman who lost a fiver because of you. He bet a fiver that you'd be on a sickie today. He said you'd be... A, no, because you'd be staying at home watching the Ryder Cup because it's gone to an extra day as far as I'm led to believe. No, I, uh, the, the text message here asking why I'm not watching Why you're the here. Golf. No, why I'm not watching the golf and why I never watch the golf. The answer is very simple. I don't have Sky. And therefore, the only place to see it is in a pub. And I have no intention of going to the pub on a Saturday afternoon or a Friday afternoon or a Monday afternoon. Why don't you lay out the necessary money to make sure that your TV is able to receive Sky? I don't want Sky. Is it because of the money? I don't. I've no... I've lost is it because all, of the money? No, it's it because is, I it? have no interest in sport anymore, apart from playing golf. There was no way this man figured that you'd missed the Ryder Cup no, final today. I never, Just, I never looked at a ball. Been, I never looked at the highlights. The highlights were on television at night. I never looked at a ball being struck. I think anger. you're starting to lose interest in everything. It's yeah. what's called losing your lust for life. I think you may die No, soon. I'll tell you. Uh, do you know what put me off the Ryder Cup? And can I honestly tell you this? Go on, tell me. I'm you interested. see when they paraded out. They're too jolly, aren't they? No, but they parade. No, I, 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 they're starting like to josh each other and push each other uh, and all. And I said, oh, look no, it's got schoolboy stuff. Look it's all that. very, it's all very rugby. And they're rugby all stuff. Their and wearing their wee wigs and, and all. Said, yeah. Oh, and they say, "Oh, look at us! Everybody loves us." And they're marching out. Yeah. To yeah. This, they're, yeah. These multi-millionaires. It's gone to their heads. Yeah. Golf. I know they're starting. They're behaving like rugby players that are do. Just to keep Sean up to date, Molinari is one up in Woods, and the other Molinari is one up in somebody else. Roy is one down to Kink. Is it kink? C A N K? A sink? Uh, kink? Uh, no, Rory is one. Rory's what does that mean? Rory's one down to kink. Is that something naughty, is it? He's I'm very losing. careful what no, I read he's, here. He's losing. Is he? It is really exciting, Sean. What's the difference between a four ball and a four sim? He wants to know. <laughs> you don't have to answer that. And he also mentions a certain uh, phrase that people are shouting at Tiger. Are you aware of this phrase? No, I, I, I can't this. read it. No, I it's much. vaguely to do with golf. Right. But it's not really. It's about his private life. Jerry, you must take an interest. Must get back to the TV, said Willie. Willie's enjoying himself. Good. Now, here's call, a man call, who says... Call, call, call. Call, call, call. <laughs> call, call, call. <laughs> call, call, call. <laughs> you sound like a seagull. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Jerry. Are you well? Yes, I'm fine, thanks. I'm glad to hear that. Jerry, I have a little uh, query. Uh, I've been uh, having a conversation in work this morning about a song that you played. You played it just after Aaron Shanley on Friday, and it was a Johnny Cash cover, uh, a sort of Ulsterism of, uh, yes. of a Johnny Cash song, I've Been Everywhere. Yes. And I'm trying, we're trying to work out who is singing that. The guy sounds very like Johnny Cash, but I don't think it's Johnny Cash. I'm no, wondering if you could it, help me. No, I'll tell you. It's, a, it's, it, it's a, a tribute band called Keep It Cash. And, ah, uh, and they're, uh, they're, in, they're in the Empire Prize Center, aren't they, I believe? 17th of October. But I, 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 but I don't think you can buy tickets to that. There's a young lady who's up uh, working at, at that. And she's, she, she, I would have played that day, but I can't really play it today because apparently there's some kind of thing that's not really been cleared for radio play. And I, I, I jumped the gun a little bit, I think, on Friday by playing that. So I think I'll oh, be able to play bureaucracy, it tomorrow. Bureaucracy, yeah, bureaucracy, huh? Trips yeah, is all up. No, I, I just took it off the internet, you see, and sometimes you shouldn't do that. Uh, so I think I'll be able to play it tomorrow. But I can't play it today in case anybody's listening. Uh, <laughs> is anybody anybody listening? Listening? <laughs> yeah, there may be one or two people listening to your program. The Freudian slip there. <laughs> Just anyone's out there. <laughs> well, here, Jay, do, do I, could I, uh, could, could I interrupt? And uh, would, would it be possible? I, I'm a man that loves a bit of myself. And uh, I, funny enough, I spoke to you uh, a lot of months ago. Yes. Uh, in the in the hallways of the BBC, uh, I was in with Ralph McLean uh, doing a little bit of work experience, as we called it at the time. Really? I met you by a co- I met you by a coffee machine, and uh, was I was I reasonably civil? You, uh, you were, yeah, you were civil. You you were locked out. You left your keys somewhere, and I had to let you in. Uh, so I had to inquire as to whether it was okay to let you in or not, and uh, apparently it was. Apparently you're well known in those parts. There was a discussion, uh, and they decided to let me in. Yeah, okay. They did. They did. Yeah, they said go ahead and let you in. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm a man that loves a bit of music, and I do a little show myself on a community radio station, and uh, love to hear things. I mean, I'm very much into Americana and, and country and blues and bluegrass at the minute, and was wanting to fire a few things at you to see if you'd heard of them or would you be interested in playing them. Go ahead. Uh, a band called uh, Pokey Lafarge and the, the South City Three. Never heard of them. Oh, go oh, very, very good. Uh, great, you should okay. Google that. Uh, make a note of that. What do you uh, call another them? Another one. Yeah. But Pokey Pokey Lafarge. 
Pugil Lafarge. Pugil Lafarge. I've heard of them, yeah. Pugil yeah. Lafarge, right? Okay, I've got that. Uh, and the South Africa, yeah. And uh, you, funny, you mentioned that Molinari, Pete Molinari. Uh, I don't know if you play a lot of Pete Molinari on the show. He I don't particularly. Playing... I don't particularly like him, to be honest with but you. Do you not know? He, he was over here. No, I, I don't mean personally. I'm, I'm not crazy about his music. Everybody raves about him. He's kind of like Foy Vance. Everybody thinks he's great, but I can't be bothered with him. <laughs> to be frank. You know, uh, it's just a question of taste, really. I mean, sometimes I just don't like some, some people's music and, and I just can't help it. It's just the way I am. I, I just, that's, that's... It's an instinct thing. You either warm to it or you don't, you mm-hmm. know. But thank you for that. And uh, the next time, uh, so how, how did Ralph treat you? Did he could take money off you? Very well. No, I brought him a bottle of wine and uh, ho- he hoping demanded he would refuse it. 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 <laughs> hoping he, I, th- I was thinking I was going to do that. There's a bottle of wine, and he would say, "No, no, no, no," and I would say, "All right," and keep it and bring it home again. But Gee. he said, oh, "Nice one," and he grabbed it off me and uh, <laughs> it nearly right. broke my arm. So. That's okay. Um, I thought you usually ask them for money, but you know, it obviously goes a good bottle. Or else he might ask you for another few quid. No, no, he, he, he didn't. He didn't mention money, you know, unless he did it subliminally, and I didn't pick up on it. But uh, I, I just, be... of course, I just, of course, <laughs> Ralph, Ralph is a gentleman. And did you enjoy your time with uh, the, uh, Ralph? Oh yes, uh, he spent. A, I, I've sort of uh, stayed in touch with him, and, he, and he's helped me an awful lot. Like I say, I, I sort of pretend to do a little radio show as, as a little hobby, and oh. uh, he's been more than good in, in, in helping me and, and uh, giving me some uh, pointers and, and, and recommendations. So he's been he's been well, more than good. Well, keep and, on. and I do. I, I do listen to your show, uh, Jerry, and, and hear a lot of good music as well. Uh, and, and I love the wide and variedness of it too. I mean, I love the, the Ulster Scott stuff. I love the rock and pop. And uh, I loved Aaron Shanley on, on Friday. He was very, oh, wasn't very he good. great? Wasn't he great? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The yeah. one thing you must always remember if you intend to pursue a career in radio is that no matter what anybody says to you, and many times people will say things to you that are hurtful and wounding, never take it personally. Always remember that. Thick skin, I am, Jerry. I, 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 always I remember that. Because I've been hurt but, before. And I've learned to, well, <laughs> rein in my emotions. I've never be, I'll never be hurt again. I've been hurt by the staff on this program. I've been hurt by the listeners. I've been hurt by casual passerbys, but I'm still here. Do you know why? Because I know that inside me is a decent human being that these people will not see. I'm finished now. Thank you very no, much a, indeed. That was God a first bless. Statement. Thank you very much, Jerry. God bless you. God Fine. Bless you too, Fine. I turned him off and he was blessing me. I know. Who do you think he is, the Pope? Uh, even a blind pig finds an acorn occasionally, says a gentleman who writes to me. But the porker in question, inmate 2876, has stuck his trough into the equivalent of a truffle when he was housed with former Wham frontman George Michael. Did you hear that story? Apparently George M- Michael's cellmate has taken him under his wing and warded off predatory prisoners to such an extent that George has given him a start on his release. He's given him a job. My entrepreneurial radar sees a quick buck with End the Ball and Channel 4. I wonder if any of our celebrities from Northern Ireland had vacationed at Long Kish, who would have to come forward as their protectors. I can just see you now, Jerry, escorted into H2, and Johnny Adair handing you a beaker of moonshine to wash down some ecstasy. Within a year, you'd be bench pressing 150 kilogram. No need to worry about hair transplants. You'd be sporting a number one crop and a goatee beard. Sean, meanwhile, could go to H3, weave a gold harp with an M16 tea towel, and read about the potato famine with Jerry Kelly. Not big thunder thighs, the other one. At the end of your sojourn, we could have a viewer phone in to see who stays and who goes. I mean, now that Big Brother's been put to sleep, the potential audience is vast. Pitch this to the Channel 4 Chiefs. No! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, dear. (coughs) (coughs) Oh, this is... All guitar players now throw away the guitars or leave the room. This is Gareth Pearson. (laughs) 